On July 7th, the Teletubbies Twitter account posted a seemingly innocuous post. At first glance, it appears to just be raising awareness for getting vaccinated. But upon second glance, you may begin to notice things that raise questions. So here's some quick backstory on the Teletubbies. The first episode aired in 1997, 24 years ago. The original run ended in 2001, and more episodes began to air in 2015. Already, I can spot a discrepancy between the tweet and the timeline. The Teletubbies are shown to be 18 in the tweet, a feat which would be impossible if these were the same Teletubbies from the original run, seeing as it would have ended before these Teletubbies were even born. Therefore, it's not hard to believe that there may have just been two different casts of Teletubbies on the show. But what happened to the original cast? Why didn't they reprise their roles? That's just unknown. They have been left to an uncertain fate. Or is it really uncertain? In the new run of Teletubbies episodes, there is a pond where the original Teletubbies house is. Now, I'm not going to suggest that a sinkhole consumed the original Teletubbies in their abode, which then filled with water over the coming years between runs, but you can make your own decision with that information. Let's move on to other information given to us in the tweet. There is at least 93,755 Teletubbies in the world, shown by their patient number. Which may seem like a lot, but consider that there is 7.6 billion people on Earth. Billion. With a B. Not an M. B. Are the Teletubbies an endangered species? But do the Teletubbies also lack free thought? If all Teletubbies are vaccinated without hesitation, that would imply that they are either forced into vaccination or cannot think for themselves, neither of which are good. But hear me out. I believe I have evidence of the Teletubbies actually being mind-controlled, and all you need to do is look at their anatomy. They have an antenna. What could that antenna be used for? I believe it's used to send a signal from the antenna down into the Teletubbies' brain, and mind control the Teletubbies. Dark, right? Also on the anatomy of Teletubbies, why is the green one's skin a different color? Why are there even different colors of Teletubby? Is there Teletubby racism? It was at this point that I discovered a fifth character list listed, Nunu. Nunu, the group's sentient vacuum cleaner. After a brief search, I discovered The Injustice of Nunu by Sean's B-Day. After listening to this song, I came to the conclusion that Nunu is not actually a pet, but rather a slave. That's right, I believe Nunu to be a slave, and the Teletubbies to be slave owners. So not only are they being mind-controlled, but they're being mind-controlled into being slave owners. Yeah, the lore of Teletubbies is indeed quite dark, and this is without going into the aliens, the crossover multiverse theory, the time travel theories, and all the other wacky theories that just seem to exist because someone at uh, the Teletubbies Twitter account doesn't know how to keep the right dates. But anyways, I hope you appreciate the video if you've watched this far. I want to say thank you because I did work really hard on this and I appreciate you watching it this far. I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe or whatever, but if you want to, I'm not going to force you not to. But that's enough of this stupid shit. Uh, so goodbye. That's it. Goodbye.